What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody having a blessed day, man. Today, I'm going to do a quick little mall vlog, Stone Crest action. I probably won't cop nothing. I just want to see what they got sitting around. Some, I, I was going to go to mall anyway, and I was like, you know what? I, I might as well do a vlog. So um, anyway, I want to know what y'all going after this holiday. I'm still going to do my holiday release vid, but I don't, I don't know if I'm doing my holiday release vid, actually, because I'm doing a December release vid at the end of the month. So I'm going to talk about every sneaker that's being released in the month of December. So I might not do the holiday release vid because it'll be like two of the same vid. So, yeah. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all going after this holiday, man. Space Jams is like seem to be the number one on everybody's list. Um, they're going to be mass produced, I'm pretty sure, like every 11 every year. I want to know how the fitting is going to be on them, though. That's my question because I wear between a 12 and a 13 and some sneakers that run kind of small and i've been i get my 11s in a size 13 which is kind of too big but if i get a 12 it's kind of too small kind of tight on my toe so and 12 and a half is one of the most hardest uh sizes to get uh, especially when you're talking about in stores online you can get it but you know if somebody like me who strike out online that 12 and a half be far and away so i end up getting a size 13. but uh you like let me know what y'all going after man those og nines man them playoff nines slash space jam nines whatever you want to call them them things looking good, boy. I seen a couple of videos on them, man. A couple of Instagram little videos, man. They got the like the little glittery in the suede. I know a lot of people didn't like that from like the aquas that came out last year, but that's how the OG was, man. And that, that shoe look real clean. I think I'm gonna get it. I have zero nines in my collection, just in case y'all wondering. I don't have any nines. I think I bought those um I bought those those ones that came out last year, the, the trophy nines, like the statue, statue nines. And I took those back because the, it was tight on my toe, man. Like it was just tight. And then once I took them back, they didn't have a 12 and a half. So I was like, whatever. So in those nines, I'll probably look for a 12 and a half as well. So I haven't, you know, I haven't keep talking about this size, my sizing issues, you know. 12 and a half, I think, might be my true size in a lot of stuff. But uh, anyway, let's go in this mall. I'm not super fresh today, man. I just threw something on, man. So I still show y'all what's on feet or whatever. But um, let's do it, man. Do it. Feet, I just, man, I just pulled out the um, lows, man. These are my throw-on sneakers, man. I can do a, um, I call beater slash throw-on slash run to the stow action going on. If y'all want me to do, I was thinking about an idea for a video. I was going to do, um top five beaters like beaters like sneakers that i wear um out or whatever when i run to the store or when i go to the gas station or something i'm just throwing on but i got a, like i got like five shoes five or six shoes that i go to whenever i just say hey man i'm about to run up to the store so if y'all want me to do that video y'all let me know um seems like a lot of y'all like top five videos so if y'all want me to do that one uh let me know let's go check out see what's going on in this mall though man some stone crest action like this is the closest mall to me like five minutes from my house so that's why i always go here and like i said y'all come below and tell me if y'all tired of seeing stone chris or y'all just tired of me doing the same all vlogs a lot of times i only will actually post these vlogs if it's something different or something new if it's the same stuff i show all the time it's been i got so many vlogs that i don't even put up because it'd be like man it's repetitive you know what i'm saying so i don't know come below y'all let me know let's do it a lot right now and they got the tune squad this is actually made by Joint Brand, so I guess they saw how people was making the fake ones or whatever. Uh, this is dope, though. Like, it's gonna be dope with the, uh, they got MJ number, the 23 on the back. That's dope, man. It's $100, actually not a bad price for that, man. So, uh, get you one. I wish they had the blue one or the black one, but that's the one he won the movie right there. Very dope. I got these, um, these Dub Zeros. That I'm not feeling, man. I, I know most people get these and use them for do a soul swap and just take the Air Jordan uh, four soles off the bottom of them and do a soul swap on them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I ain't feeling those. Uh, never been into the Dub Zeros and stuff like that, man. But everything else pretty much same old same here, man. Um, oh, they got these uh, Space Jam shirts. I saw these in the last time I posted on Instagram. They got the um, Space Jam shirt, the Toon Squad. I think that's kind of dope, man. I don't know, y'all, all my 90s people, man, they know about this stuff, man. This is really throwback and nostalgia. They got a, the, the um, purple, Concord purple one, too, so. It's, a, it's another um, Space Jam shirt. It says, out here for days, and it has a Space Jam sitting in the director's chair. That's clean. Uh, Tiana Taylor joints, man. These right here are cleansed. I heard they came in man size in some spots, but I couldn't find them nowhere in the men's sizes, because I would definitely rock these, man. But uh, these are like GS or the girls, women's sizes or whatever. Very dope in my opinion, though. Good quality, man. It's just a dope sneaker. 
And they brought back all the old starter jackets, man. You got your Raiders, got the Hawks. Whew, with a 90s Hawks um, logo on there, man. Very dope. Got your, uh, the NBA All-Star game. And uh, what was this, San Antonio one? Man, oh, Phoenix. This is the Phoenix, man. Very dope. Um, the Golden State joint. Got the NBA Finals, Spurs, well, Steelers, Celtics, uh, Bears, Panthers, Raiders, man. Oh, the San Jose Sharks hockey joint. Um, the Bulls and then the Nuggets, of course. Just, just, just the old school starter jackets was like the best back. Dudes was getting, dudes was getting robbed and shot for the back when I was in like elementary school, man. So, there's some throwback action going on. Yeah, they going a little bit too far with this though. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this. This looked like something they would have sold in the flea market back in the '90s, like stuff like this. And no limit. I got to hook up. Like <laughs> I, I, I can't get with that. It's a, it's a little bit too far, man. A little bit too past my reach, man. That's foot like a foot like a action. They be playing music so loud in here. I be trying to get a copyright claim. I look like they brought the uh, Krispy Kreme, um, Krispy Kreme Kyrie's back. They might restock them or something because I feel like they sold out at some point. Oh, look what we got here. We got the uh, Olive NMDs. These pretty much sold out in a lot of places. And uh, apparently they restocked them and they still got pairs because they actually sold out in here at some point. I actually like this colorway, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, these 120, so they not as bad, but they got pairs on deck, man. Foot like them. And they got the uh, black toes and uh, the GS sizes still, so get you some. They had a uh, shot of back boys in here last week. Like they might have finally sold out of those in the GS. They still got the uh, some some of the old the basketball shoes. I'm just gonna go down the line. A lot of the Kobe's, a lot of the um, just a lot of basketball sneakers. There's a lot of stuff, man, that's probably going to sit or end up going to, like, the outlets and stuff like that, man. It's just, they make so many colorways and basketball shoes, it's just ridiculous. Some of them sell, but some of them just, a lot of them sit, man. Like, a lot of them sit. Some of these dope colorways, too, I think they overpriced. I think if they put the price down, like, 120 for a lot of these, they'll sell out, man. That's just my opinion. Crazy man. I, I, I thought it was like a um I thought it was like an idea or something on Nike ID. I didn't know it actually came in the Krispy Kreme. Kai Rispy, man. <laughs> Ooh, the Kai Rispy cream. so sweet. <laughs> this this is nice, man. It's dope. I bought some donuts. Size 13 donuts. Had to do it. I actually wanted this shoe when it first came out. I think it was like a uh ID. But they were saying it was going to come in a Nike ID box. I wanted the whole thing. Like, when I saw the promotion for that, I wanted the box. I wanted the shoe. I wanted the whole thing, man. It's kind of like a novelty shoe. I probably will not even wear this shoe that much. But it's just more like a novelty. It's something they have, man. It's like a little something they probably won't bring out again. So, yes, uh, Yeah, man. They got the um, the uh, Uncaged Ultra Boost and the Olive. And they have that wool pack that I saw at Flight 23 of the NMDs. So they got all those too, man. Just in case my Adidas heads when I come up here and get you some, man. And these threes, I actually seen these retail, I mean, uh, on sale online for like 120 this past weekend. So hit up sneaker steals on Instagram, man. You can get these for a great price. A little Jimmy Jazz action going on. Yes, sir. As far as sneakers, it's kind of the same old, same old as far as sneakers. You know, they got a couple of these Prestos that I like though. Those winterized press those. I showed y'all those in, um, at the Flight 23 store. Those are the other two colorways up there. I was kind of curious to see if they were going to have the blue 12s left because I know a couple people said they're still sitting in their city. But Atlanta seems to be completely sold out of them, at least in this mall anyway. Looking like they're getting ready for the uh, True Blue 3s to release. You got this jacket right here. <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually a dope jacket, though. I don't know if I wear it with the shoes, man. That one right there is sick, too. And um, this one right here, I already got at the house. Uh, classic starter jacket, man. These are dope. I ain't even gonna lie. These are sick right here. All of them got the starter stamp on them, man. Starter. Get you some. Um, then they got the one that says Chi-Town's Finest right there. Very dope, very dope, very dope. I like all this stuff, man. It's, it's, it's nice, man. Really throwback action. They got the blue. What's that one supposed to go? What shoe that supposed to go with? Got the blue. I don't know. That's dope, though. It's a nice color going on with it. I guess it's Space Jams, huh? Yeah. It's nice, though. Yeah, man. So the plan, I didn't, it didn't go as planned, man. I was supposed to not copy any sneakers today, um, but that didn't go as planned. The collector in me took over, and this one that I got is a collector's shoe right here. Um, got them House of Hoops Foot Locker. Matter of fact, 
let's get some POV action, man. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all up close. So these right here, boy. Whew. Man, when I first saw the marketing for these right here, bro, I was like, man, that's a collector's shoe. If there's nothing else, even if you don't rock this shoe, it's a collector's shoe. It's a must-have, man. Just the, the the marketing and everything on this nigga, bro. Crispy, Kai Crispy Cream. Gang so sweet. Nike made fresh daily. Um, I'm gonna do a full review on feet of this shoe, so I'm just gonna kind of um, just do a little quick little unboxing right here, show you the shoe. Um, I had to get size 13 because Kyrie's running a little tight on me. So that's they, there they go right there. Bow, put it back in the sun. The Kyrie 2 Kyrie Spree Cream joints. I hate that white outsole. If I can change anything, it'll be that white outsole because that's going to get dirty. Um, nice, man. I really dig this shoe. You got the green on the inside. But anyway, I ain't going to do no crazy review. This right here. It's just dope, man. It's like it's in a star shoe. I think I like the box more than the shoe. I mean, I dig this shoe, and I'm going to rock it. It's clean, man. I can, I can definitely see myself, especially spring. It's definitely a springtime shoe. Um, but that's it. I don't think there's nothing else special in this box. I don't think it is. But um, that's it, man. The Kyrispy Cream. Two joints. I'm like an impulse buy, but it's, um, it's like a collect. Like I said, it's a collector's shoe. What happened was, is this shoe was supposed to release in a few months ago it came out. I think it came out online, but it was like Nike ID form, so you can change a couple of things about it. And they wanted like $200 or something like that for, for it to buy it on Nike ID. And I'm thinking you're going to get an... I didn't know the people who got it on Nike ID, maybe y'all can help me. But did it come with this box on Nike ID? Because most time you do a Nike ID, it just comes with a Nike ID box. And that's why I wanted to go ahead and get this on the back. It's making me want some donuts so bad right now. <laughs> got that now serving hot sign, man. It made me want some donuts. But, um... These retail for $160. Got my size 13. Um, it says Kyrie, Kyrie 2 Premium, but this is a quick strike. So um, even got Nike.com on the bottom of it. I got them Foot Locker, but it got, you know, I think these like mostly just released on Nike or whatever. I could be wrong, but they said they said was, they came out on that original release date, but they just got them in here today. So when I saw it, I saw the box, I was like, man. I want these. If I could just sit them up somewhere, I mean, like I said, I'm going to rock the shoe. Y'all know me. I wear my shoes, but if I could just sit it up somewhere, man, it'd be dope. Anyway, man, that's been this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog, the pickup action, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all comment below if y'all want me to keep doing stuff like this because I wasn't supposed to cop. So this video minus the pickup, would y'all still like me to do it, man? Y'all comment below and let me know. And y'all hit that thumbs up. Like that video, man. Like it. <laughs> subscribe, man. That's the most important thing. Subscribe, man. Let's hit. We on the way to 200K. Road to 200K right now. Let's do it, man. I know we can do it, man. It's like I said, I appreciate everything. Appreciate all y'all. Hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe. All that good stuff. Keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone.